before your brain even has time to label what you're looking at. Pause. Because what Perseverance has just uncovered on Mars was never designed to be digested casually. This moment isn't highlighted in NASA headlines. It's not simplified for press releases. And it's definitely not something you scroll past like another red rock. What you're about to see is raw, untouched by interpretation. The kind of Martian evidence that makes scientists quietly admit, we need to rethink this. In just a few moments, Perseverance will reveal something from deep within Jezero Crater that still doesn't have a clean explanation, and maybe still makes mission planners uncomfortable. So, if this is your first time here, subscribe and turn on notifications, because on All About Mars Surface, we don't echo what's already known. We expose what's still being questioned. In this chapter, Perseverance waits silently near the fractured rim of Jezero Crater, staring into terrain no rover has ever analyzed at this range. Then, it begins to move, slowly navigating unstable sand and steep inclines. The rover targets a towering geological structure NASA calls Pico Alto. But the journey isn't smooth. Loose regolith causes repeated stops. A wheel actuator resists movement. From Earth, engineers intervene, rebooting systems, recalibrating motion limits, and rewriting drive commands. Days pass. Then, on Sol 1334, Perseverance breaks through, completing a 107-meter drive in one continuous push. It halts at the base of Pico Alto. Behind it, the rover's tracks curve across the surface like a signature etched into Mars itself. Ahead, stable ground at last. To the left, the pale western face of Pico Alto rises sharply from the crater floor. After several carefully calculated maneuvers, Perseverance locks itself beside a light-toned patch of exposed bedrock, visually different from anything nearby. Mission scientists suspect something unusual lies beneath the dust. The robotic arm extends, the abrasion tool engages. A circular scar forms, clean, precise. A system check confirms the bit remains in near-perfect condition. Then the Watson camera moves in. Frame by frame, the images arrive on Earth. And immediately, something stands out. Spectral data indicates olivine, a mineral linked to deep volcanic origins. This isn't surface debris. This rock was born far below Mars' crust, then lifted, fractured, and exposed. With samples documented, Perseverance raises its mast and captures a new mosaic of Pico Alto's layered face. At first glance, the rock resembles sediment, the kind shaped by flowing water. But water at this elevation shouldn't exist. A closer analysis reveals tilted, twisted layers signatures of immense internal forces. This wasn't shaped by. Before departing, Perseverance captures a final mosaic of the abrasion site, now officially named Rio Verde. Its next objective lies higher than anything it has attempted before. Lookout Peak, a natural overlook on the crater rim. The drive begins. For nearly two hours, Perseverance climbs as the Martian sun sinks lower in the sky. Shadows stretch. Light flares across the lens. The rover is literally driving into sunset. Mars on Sol 1347. A strange rectangular rock appears, sharply defined, almost brick-like. Mission Control flags it instantly. Supercam scans the object. Later, on Sol 1372, Perseverance pauses and looks back. Pico Alto now sits far below, evidence of how much altitude the rover has gained. Fine sand still clings to its wheels, remnants of earlier struggles. When Perseverance captured its latest footage inside Jezero Crater, the rocks showed strange and unexpected layers. How do such layers form on Earth? Through flowing water, 
or through microorganisms and bacteria that die and turn into fossils. So finding these layers on Mars is not a random coincidence. The textures, the patterns, and the internal structures of these rocks keep raising one powerful question. Did Mars once have life when Perseverance used its microimagers to capture the fine details of these rocks? It revealed lines and circular patterns that closely resemble Earth's fossilized stromatolites. These stromatolites are some of the oldest fossils on Earth, over 3.5 billion years old. Seeing similar patterns on Mars, if this turns out to be true, it would become one of humanity's biggest scientific shocks. And this is exactly the moment where even NASA became extremely cautious. The place where Perseverance is operating was once a massive lake, a deep body of water where water pooled, flowed, shifted, and left behind layers, minerals, and chemical traces. That is why the rocks here look completely different from typical Martian terrain. Some rocks are sponge-like, full of pores, as if naturally carved from inside. Some hold ripple patterns, as if ancient waves shaped them. And some contain microstructures that scientists still cannot classify. This episode opens with Perseverance stationed near Jezero's northern rim, a 45-kilometer basin once filled with water. For over a thousand souls, the rover explored deltas, floodplains, and volcanic terrain. But now, it stands at a boundary. Beyond the rim lies ground no rover has ever touched. The cameras sweep the horizon, jagged ridgelines, sloping valleys, distant hills fading into Martian haze. Then comes the next command, climb the rim and reach a massive outcrop named Pico Turquino. What secrets does it hold? The approach begins. These rock layers could predate Jezero's lake, possibly representing Mars before surface water ever existed. The rover attempts the climb again with updated traction models and revised safety parameters. Then, on Sol 1338, Perseverance succeeds. A 107-meter uninterrupted ascent. Behind it, sweeping wheel tracks carved into sand. Ahead, one of the most scientifically valuable formations on the crater rim. If these rocks truly contain fossils, it would prove that life was never exclusive to Earth. Somewhere else, at some other time, something lived. Perseverance is only studying the surface for now. The real conclusion will come when these samples are brought back to Earth. But the bigger question is, are we ready to face Mars's true past? Is it possible that water flowed over the surface of this rock, bringing minerals that were compressed by something that was previously laid on top? The area is too exciting, and Perseverance gears itself up to try and get a core sample. First, it will need to abrade the rock. The rover proceeds carefully and records the operation. You can see that the rock does sink slightly, but not enough to be of concern. The operation took around 10 minutes in real time. Fortunately, the rock withstood the abrasion and turns out to be quite a hard piece of rock. You can see in this image that the rock abrasion tool has left some markings on the patch. Excitingly, this means it's time for the rover to get its drill out. This series of images shows the drilling operation. Again, the rock sank slightly, but not enough to cause any problems. In the video, you can see a small chip of rock settle into the abrasion patch. This image shows the flake of rock in the patch. The material in this area seems to be very brittle. The rock has cracked, but the sample is retrieved successfully. There is, however, one small problem. The sample will not seal properly. The issue may be due to Martian dust interfering with the sealing process. Perseverance captures a time-lapse of images over four soles, showing small dust grains moving around the sample tube's rim. While the team works on a fix, the rover must press on. 
Perseverance finishes up activities at Enchanted Lake and is on the move once again. The team wants it to analyze the Martian sand along the way. Its own wheel tracks provide a great look at what sits just beneath the surface. The rover must also gather data from undisturbed areas to compare. You can see the laser shots in this image. Elsewhere, Ingenuity surveys debris, captures flight imagery, and briefly loses contact due to dust and cold. Perseverance continues alone, studying cracks, layers, wheel hitchhikers, and dust buildup. Rapid traverse begins. Record-breaking drives follow. Delta structures rise ahead. Signs of ancient floods appear. A Martian solar eclipse unfolds, Phobos crossing the sun. Fragments of the landing parachute resurface. Each moment adds another piece to Mars's deep history. Perseverance reaches the delta front. Layered cliffs rise like frozen time. Bright materials appear. Ingenuity scouts again, then reconnects. The journey continues toward Hawksbill Gap. The most dangerous climb yet awaits. And this is only the beginning. Thank you for supporting All About Mars Surface. Like, share, subscribe, and join us in the next episode where Mars reveals what it's been hiding for billions of years.